Hi, my name's Tim, I'm the Tinkering Turtle, and today we're gonna to be adjusting the Tektro Ares brakes on the Hemiway Step Through e-bike. This is done in two steps. First step is to actually adjust the brake handle feel and the barrel adjusters. And the second step is to actually go down and adjust the brake pads around the rotor. So let's get into it. we've used our, brake, our bikes for the first couple months here I've noticed that you need to go in and adjust your brakes every couple of weeks or so um, the brake cables will naturally stretch as you start using your your brakes because they're just woven braids of steel and when you pull the brakes it actually tightens that weave a little bit and so over every, every couple of weeks you'll need to make slight adjustments um, so now that we're in two or three months now, um, I'm gonna actually take all the slack out of the system and get all of our barrel adjuster adjustment back so that we can have more to work with as we go down the road. So here are the tools we're gonna use today. I've got my pliers, wire cutters, a metric Allen set, or you can use the tool that came with the bike. I've got a bag of um, end caps for the cables and a clamp. Now the clamp is only because I don't have anybody here to help me with the brake handles and I'll show you what I use for that, that for in a little bit. So this is the barrel adjuster right here. You have a lock, a lock uh, washer here and you have the adjuster, the barrel adjuster here. And the way this works is you loosen this up by twisting it well, counterclockwise if you're looking at it from this direction. And then you loosen it all the way up till it's tight with the barrel. And then you tighten it by going the other direction, tighten the barrel back in so there's no gap here. But what this does is it makes this, this cable loose. And you can actually, see if I can do this, you can actually pull it out some, because that's now loose. We'll also repeat the process down here with this barrel connector by doing the same thing. We'll loosen that nut all the way up, or the lock, wire, or the lock nut, and then we'll take the barrel itself, you can see that, and we'll tighten it all the way down. That puts all the extra slack in this cable. And what we're gonna do to fix that is we're gonna loosen up this bolt here, pull the cable through, which will tighten this up. You'll note now that we've got the, both the barrel adjusters tightened in, that the handle, the brake handles will go clear back to the grip. This is not what you want. You want this brake handle to stop short of the grip when it's fully engaged. So we need to make the adjustments down the calipers to take that slack up. So to take the slack out of the cable here, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen this bolt with a five millimeter Allen wrench. Bring it out about a, a full stroke or so. This allows the brake lever to move on the cable. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna pull the cable up not all the way to lock, but pull it back, bring it up to lock and then pull it back a little bit. And then tighten that back down. Now after making that adjustment by tightening the cable through that um, brake lever down below on the caliper, now you'll notice that the handle only comes back and doesn't hit the grip. Barrel connectors are fully in, so we still have plenty of adjustment coming out, which is what we want. And this puts us in a pretty good position. I like to have about a finger width when you pull that thing back, um, but that puts us in a real good position. If you need to make fine tune adjustments, just loosen up this barrel connector here 
back it out a little bit and keep testing where you want that brake lever to sit. Now when you pull it tight, that's pretty close to the handle. I'll probably adjust that out to about here by adjusting this barrel connector, but I'll do that after we're finished with the, uh, all the brake adjustments. You'll also notice that there's a really a lot of cable sticking out of the brake caliber. This is not a good situation. If this thing gets moving around and gets caught in your rotor and that tire's moving, it could suck back up in here and lock the system up, which would throw you over the handlebars. That's not a good thing. So at the end of the video, when I'm done with the fine tuning of the brakes, I'm actually gonna go in and I'll clip this off about an inch or an inch and a half out and I'll put a new end cap on that you can get from Amazon and I'll have the link to that these end caps um, in the description of the video. So the first step in adjusting your your pads around your rotor, this is your rotor, the pads are inside the caliper. So you want to uh, loosen up these two mounting bolts for the caliper to the um, bracket here. And you just want to loosen these up just enough where the um, caliper will move. You don't want to, you don't need to take these all the way out. Now the caliper moves freely in that situation. If you go around to the other side of the bike, what you're going to see is that there's this inner pad adjuster that uses the same five millimeter Allen wrench. And what you want to do at this point is tighten this all the way down. Once you've got it all the way tightened down, you want to back it off one quarter turn. Then you have somebody come up here and hold the brakes tight while you tighten up those mounting bolts, bolts down below. Since I don't have anybody here helping me today, I'm gonna to use a clamp to hold the brake handle in place while I tighten those bolts. So while the, handle, the brake handle's pulled up above, I'm gonna actually come in here and, and tighten this bolt. Now the mounting bolts are tight. I'll release the brake. Now that the mounting bolts are tightened, the brake is released, I'll come back here and I'll open this up one more quarter turn. And there's usually a click that I've been using. Um, you may need to pull this back out one more depending on if there's any squeak or movement in the wheel, but that's the basic adjustment. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to lift the bike up and I'm going to spin the tire and I'm going to listen for any brake noise at all. And I do hear some, so I'll make another adjustment. So because I heard the brake noise, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to open this up one more quarter turn, one more click. I'm going to retest the tire. Now I hear no brake noise at all. Now to make the fine tune adjustment, I'm gonna pull the brake back in and I'm gonna, it's too tight for me. I want it out a little bit further at full pull. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this barrel connector out by screwing it counterclockwise. And I'm gonna keep testing it till it gets to about where I want it. Once I get it to the point where I can fit a thumb up through here at full pull, then I'll go ahead and tighten down the lock nut on that barrel connector and I'm done. So now that I've got everything adjusted, the barrel connectors are adjusted, the um, calipers are adjusted be centered on the um, rotors. Now the only thing I have left to do is to shorten this cable. So I'll come back in here and, in, and the dimension doesn't have to be precise. I'll come out an inch or an inch and a half just where all this extra is not gonna get tangled up in the rotor. And I'll clip it off with a wire cutter. 
And then I'll get my little baggie of end connectors. And I'll put an end connector on there. Now that that end connector is on the cable, I take the wire cutters or you can get um, other, other tools to do this. But all you're trying to do is you're not trying to cut the wire, you're just trying to crimp that connector down in a couple of places onto the cable so it doesn't come off. This stops the cable from fraying and being a big mess down the road and it can't get into your calipers easily. This isn't gonna wag over and get caught in here as this thing goes around. Now that I finished up with the front brake, you just simply repeat the process on the rear brake. I won't be showing that, but it, it's exactly the same. Just follow the same steps. So that's how you adjust your brakes on the Himawe um, e-bike. The Tektro Aries brake calipers are now adjusted to center around the rotor and the barrel connectors are at their minimum position. If I'm out on the road and the cable stretches, I can easily undo that lock nut, back out the barrel connector to get my grip feel at the right place. No problem. If I run out of adjustment on the top one, I can go to the bottom one. They both do the same thing, like I said before. So that's it. It's real simple, but it's something you should do probably every couple of weeks. Um, you should adjust the barrel connector. Every month or two, you should do a full you know, caliper adjustment. If you hear noise or squeaks, you should probably do a caliper adjustment. Um, it's pretty simple. It doesn't take a lot of time, but it'll make your ride a lot more enjoyable. Enjoyable. I have heard of a lot of people, they get squeaks and you know, sounds coming out of their rotors. And if you just make that simple adjustment, typically that'll go right away. All right, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to see future content, and I'll catch you next time.